Welcome to the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting Video Vignette Series, in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting solution to improve the security of endpoints in your organization's network. Hello, my name is Chris Merritt, and in this episode I'm joined by Chris Chevalier from Product Management to discuss how you can simplify whitelist creation. Creating a baseline whitelist in a production environment can be difficult due to variation among endpoint builds. In most organizations, different groups have different computing needs. So, Chris, how does one provide better security without trying to force everyone into a one-size-fit-all gold image, which can be both too restrictive and too permissive at the same time? Well, this is a big challenge for any administrator who's trying to roll out application control within their environment. Trying to build that initial master whitelist, which includes every executable that's on every endpoint in their environment, is daunting, if not impossible. So in Lumension Application Control, in the Intelligent Whitelisting Solution, we are introducing what we call the Easy Lockdown Policy. Now, an Easy Lockdown Policy is a simple policy which instructs an endpoint to take an inventory of all of the executable files on that hard drive and create a custom whitelist for that endpoint based on what, what exists on the endpoint right now. So I've deployed an easy lockdown policy to this particular endpoint and now what I want to do is I can drill down into this endpoint here and on the easy lockdown files tab I can quickly gain some visibility into what exactly is installed on that particular endpoint. So here I have a list of every executable file in the, that's on that endpoint and these have all been scanned and used to create a, an, a whitelist which is customized for this particular endpoint. Now if I've signed this to uh, several of my endpoints, each endpoint has its own customized whitelist and I can look at these files in aggregate in the application library uh, here but this really starts to give me some visibility into what is actually exists in my environment and it's also automatically created that initial whitelist. So if I step out to that endpoint now, this endpoint is under lockdown, application control policies are being enforced on this endpoint, and let's say that the uh, user here wants to uh, go download some software uh, which may not be authorized or wanted uh, in my environment. So he decides to download, uh, let's say, this uh, BitTorrent here and tries to install that. Because it wasn't on the machine when we did that initial easy lockdown scan and added to that whitelist, you can see that application control has blocked this application from running. So by taking a snapshot of each individual machine, you account for variation? Yeah, every, every endpoint is getting its own unique whitelist, so regardless of, of how what kind of drift you've had, configuration drift in your environment, uh, it's, it's just one policy to automatically whitelist all of those in the state they're in right now. And that really accelerates your time to protection and really provides you better uh, management of the individual machines too, right? That's right. You don't spend time building a master whitelist months trying to collect all of the executables in your environment. Right away you're just immediately protecting against new, uh, new executables from executing in your environment, new malware, new uh, you know, zero-day uh, threats, and uh, unwanted software like this. Great. Thanks, Chris. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how the Lumension Intelligent Whitelisting Solution will help you improve security, increase productivity, and reduce total cost of ownership. For more information, please visit the Intelligent Whitelisting page on our website, where you can get free premium security tools to assess your network today. Thank you.